Hello, dear friends. New means something that is being perceived or experienced for the first time. Opinion piece. This is new. Escalation in stages. Something is cooking. The veil is being lifted. War for the human soul. Earth is not for the wake. It's never happened before. The storm is about to come. Everything has to come out. Something never seen before. Earth will forge its own path. People are destined to ascend. Why do good men do nothing? The day of upliftment has come. Human liberation is unavoidable. Opportunity offered to humankind. Scare tactics are, provide, are proving ineffective. Ineffective. Animal experiments ordered to stop. Argentina's gold reserve is in London. Let's start. For the first time in the history of the universe, a planet experiencing a transition to two different vibratory spectra in a very short period of time. Although this is the first time a planet is ascending to two different levels of frequencies, it is being guided by the will of the Creator. Trust in the divine plan for ascension. Everything that needs to be removed, everything that needs to be let go, everything that needs to be healed in this cesspool we call ca chaos, needs to come to the surface. According to Julian Assange, this is not just a battle for territory, but a war for the soul of humankind. The veil is being lifted. The storm is about to come. The world will never be the same. Why do good men do nothing? The only thing necessary for the triumph of evil is for good human beings to do nothing. They are usually smart at doing business and getting the best jobs in an ethical manner. Andromedans. According to Anna von Wright, the Andromedans are the peacekeepers charged with enforcing galactic law, so they are concerned about the proliferation of, that, of advanced alien technology and smuggling. There is a fear that we are not mature enough as a species to reliably and peacefully apply this technology. Reliably, I mean. According to the Andromedans through Krista Energetic Clay, the best thing about being here is the freedom it gives you. Clean air, nature, oceans and the sky. On other planets, they have limited air, rock formation and miss out on the abundance that Earth gives. This is a beautiful planet that many choose to incarnate on. The reason they come here is to experience unparalleled adventures, challenges and obstacles. Earth is not for the wake. If we are here, we have to think long and hard before coming here. Opportunity. Opportunity offered to humankind according to Kesheresh. Never before has the energy that is being offered now been offered. Never before has the opportunity for humanity to advance in leaps and bounds been greater. Never before have the stars and celestial bodies been so aligned with this kind of precision as they are now. The support and guidance from the angelic realms is on another level. All of this offers immense support for the activations within the being, for the thinning of the veils, for the great shift in consciousness that is taking place at this time. The challenges that are presented are just stepping stones to promote awakening and bring you home. The day of elevation has arrived. If you could hear and feel the frequencies of the stars, you would know how much the universe loves you. And that day has never been closer than now. 
The veil of separation is created by the narratives of the mind, a layer upon, upon layer of confusion, programming and beliefs. That is why we say to tune into the light of the heart, and you will begin to see what is real, what truly matters. Awakening. The current transformation represents a significant milestone for Earth and the entire universe. The final outcome of this transition remains unsetting, giving rise to many possible scenarios. What is setting, however, is that Earth will forge its own path according to Saint Germain through Celia Wilder. Regardless of the anticipated scenarios, Earth is destined to ascend to the fifth dimensional frequency by its own free will to ensure the evolution of human beings. A profound awakening is unfolding on a global scale, the momentum of which is unstoppable, despite the effort to impose more restrictions under the guise of a new emergency. However, humankind will no longer submit as it did before. Alarmist tactics are pro proving ineffective. Humanity is breaking free. The liberation of the earth and of humankind from the chains that have bound it for so long is unavoidable. Once humans are freed from control, it would mark the dawn of a new era characterized by prosperity and abundance, ensuring that no individual is left behind. This transformation will pave the way for a society founded on love, respect and unity. The global awakening is underway. Despite the attempt to sow fear and maintain control, humankind is transcending these limitations and reclaiming its power. This liberation heralds the dawn of a new earth where abundance, prosperity and solidarity reign. Although the path ahead may present challenges, it is shifting the collective consciousness towards a brighter future where harmony and joy prevail. As humanity breaks free from the shackles of fear and division, a new world is born, founded on love, compassion and mutual respect. Fulford quotes, multiple sources say something big is going to happen in September. Iran delays retaliatory measures. Both Turkey and the and Iran are avoiding any attack as talks on Gaza continue. Trump believes Israel cannot defend itself well and that its opponents could overrun it. Elon Musk is with Trump and his chat with him had more than a billion views. Musk says, said, I think we are at the crossroads in the path of the destiny of civilization, and we must take the high road. Trump thinks that Ukraine has flawed government that has killed most of his men, of its men, and is now forming battalions of Ukrainian women. As a sign of its desperation, the Kiev regime is trying to create a radioactive disaster by attacking nuclear facilities. As a result of these activities, Germany has cut off military aid to Ukraine. The Canadian regime is now the only one providing weapons. Not only that, but Germany has now issued an arrest warrant for a Ukrainian diver who was involved in the North Stream explosions. They want to replace Zelensky with former Ukrainian Interior Minister Arsen Avakov. The coalition wants to reach some kind of agreement before September because in October the BRICS plan to launch a new financial system with the participation of 159 countries. Payments will be made in national currencies, while a new development bank will act as a platform for integration, conversion and compensation. It is about creating a new fairer multipolar order. If the West 
doesn't want to be left out, it must, it must join the multipolar movement. In a sign that it, this has already begun, Panama is asking people for identity papers and kicking out all those who do not have them. People want to know about the economy, about the fact that they can't buy food because they don't have enough money to do so. If the government spends much more than it earns, that increases inflation. Kamala Harris wants to size patents owned by individuals and companies. The authorities have launched a censorship of anyone who questions the official narrative. Meanwhile, they continue to lecture the world on human rights. The situation has worsened so much that the UK's Attorney General wants, in quotes, freedom of expression would be threatened if too many citizens are taken to court for offensive messages on social media. This is also happening in Germany, where the police have begun raiding homes of people who share unconventional content online. Only journalists who have questions and answers prepared in advance to give the appearance of freedom are allowed to speak. Yuval Noal Harari announced his plan for mind control to monitor thoughts. Of course, the coalition is not going to allow this dystopia to happen. USA. Meteorologists predict another solar storm on Monday, August 26th. Tropical storm home could hit Hawaii this weekend. Sudden cooling of the Atlantic Ocean puzzles weather scientists. A law orders to end, an end to experiments with dogs, cats and primates by 2026. Towards a quantum computer capable of deciphering codes, researchers at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology propose a smaller noise-tolerant circuit that is easier to implement in practice. Politics. JFK Jr. says there will be a biblical scenario where they will pretend it's the third world party, but in reality they will be activating the forces and then attacking landmarks. Robert F. Kennedy Jr. suspends his presidential campaign and supports Trump for the promise or to end to the conflict in Ukraine. In his opinion, Germany has become an extension of the US and the sanctions and sabotage of the Nord Stream gas pipeline have destroyed the industrial base of Europe. Trump criticizes Biden for the conflict in Ukraine. He has no idea what he did, he said in quotes. US announces new sanctions against almost 400 individuals and entities linked to the Russian war machine. Former leaders of Pakistan and Bangladesh claim they were overthrown for not supporting Ukraine. M millions of Shiite Muslims pilgrims uh, head to Kabala, Iraq to commemorate the death of Imam Hussein. Economy. Why are some economists ignoring signs of the recession? The economic system is imploding. Will we see a red October? David Link thinks the monetary crisis has begun. The dollar will peak around 2028 and the new system will be established. Central bank rates look set to drop in September. Fed chairman confirms rate cut in September. Powell's pivot sparks panic among bond, Bitcoin and Valium buyers, while the dollar falls to 2024 lows. Trump already has candidates to replace Powell at the Fed. A study exposes the myth of the Federal Reserve's independence. Americans now need 
two and a half million dollars to be considered wealthy. Charles Schwab survey finds. Europe. Macron continues to, draw, to try to form a new government. A brutal eruption of the Sand Nukur volcano shook Iceland. Outreach grows over the killing of more than 150 brown beers, brown beers in Sweden, Spain. The weekend brings rain in the northern third of the peninsula and high temperatures in the south. Spain's Ibex 35 leads the rises in Europe with 3%. Feijó blames Sánchez for the immigration record. Feijó wants that the PP cannot accept illegal immigrants who come through mafias. University students odyssey to find a room this year, minimum of 500 euros per month in Madrid. Americas. The U.S. ambassador to Mexico says that the direct vote election of judges represents a risk for democracy, democracy in the country. Pensions and minimum wage lift thousands of seniors out of poverty in Mexico. In communist Cuba, the elderly struggle with pensions of $10 a month. Ridicule. New economic measures in Cuba determine more oversight of the private sector. Millet advises in the appointment of two like-minded judges in the Supreme Court. The bookstore route celebrates the 125th anniversary of the writer Jorge Luis Borges. The Argentine Gold Reserve is in London. In June, the UK received a shipment of gold worth $150 million from Argentina. The gold was most likely sent by the Central Bank of Argentina to be used as collateral in the London Valium market. Artificial intelligence, flying car and other advances at a meeting in Brazil. And that, that's all for today. Thanks a lot, dear friends.